Hello, fellow pipe smokers. Relax, Piper here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with another uh, pipe review. And I thought I'd go ahead and share this pipe uh, brand uh, for those of you who are new in the pipe community. It's not a widely known brand. And I've been checking them out. And I really do like their style. And... I always wanted to add a Algerian briar um, pipe to my collection. So I thought I'd just go ahead and quickly share this pipe and give you my thoughts about the brand. So just a little bit of history. Uh, I think it's, his name is Eugene Leon Ropp. Uh, between 1830 and 1907, he acquired a patent for cherry wood pipes. Now, Rop, uh, early on in its uh, business, um, were producing a lot of uh, cherry pipes uh, with a natural uh, bark on them. And uh, or I guess there were a lot of them made and distributed uh, throughout uh, the UK and the colonies. So it was a pretty popular pipe. And the pipes were a big success in the export as well. And... Um, I guess shortly before 1914, Rob designed um, it to be the ex exclusive distributor in the UK and its colonies. So uh, back in the day, it was a pretty popular brand, and they were known for their cherry wood pipes. And this particular one is Algerian Briar, and a lot of people rave about Algerian Briar, uh, especially the older ones. And I just thought I would add one to my collection. Um, I was looking for a bulldog, a smaller bulldog, and this one kind of fit the bill. So even though cherry wood pipes were a uh, mainstay of ROP until the company finally closed down in September of 1991, the company was taken over by Cut, uh, Cuddy Fort Enterprises, which uh, also owns Chacombe and uh, several other brand names. So I'll just go ahead and quickly share the pipe with you and give you an idea of what kind of pipe you'll be getting from Rob if you should decide to consider one in your collection. Now on the website, um, there are a lot of different models and I have to say that the company uh, does make some attractive pipes and um, pipes with some beautiful stems. And uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of the stems are vulcanite uh, but if you want a softer bit, um, vulcanite's not a bad um, idea. So this one's a bulldog. It's smooth, briar, and they are made in France. So I'll go ahead and quickly share the pipe. Comes in a pretty Jean, plain Jane box, but other than that, a very reasonably priced pipe for sure. Uh, it comes in this kind of um, you know, cloth bag with some writing on there, which I can't read it. I'm not sure what it says. It must be in French. But here's the pipe, and I have to say it's a, uh, in my opinion, a very beautiful, simplistic pipe. I have to say that Algerian Briar does seem a little different from what I've seen. And like I said, it's just a very simplistic pipe. Uh, but it's a light colored pipe, which I wanted to add another lighter color. It's a beautiful um, bird's eye, pretty tight bird's eye in there. And I have to say, it, it, drilled uh, in the center. Seems a little bit larger than most of my pipes as far as the chamber. Um, but a really nice um, stem to shank. But Mm 
the draft hole is centered. Uh, however, it seems uh, pretty large compared to some of the other ones. I imagine it's going to draw pretty well. Which is good because I typically uh, like to burn flakes. So, with the stem to a shank is nice and tight. up what it's a very simplistic pipe uh, it's got Alger it says Algerian briar made in France so yeah pretty happy with this little pipe kind of want to add in another bulldog and looking forward to see how Algerian briar smokes <laughs> anyway thought I'd share with that with you and if you're interested in ROP pipes, I uh, thought I'd go ahead and share the pipe with you for a little brand identification for those of you who are new pipe smokers. And yeah, Algerian Briar. It's supposed to be amazing. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And perhaps. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.